meeting. Um, so again, hello everyone. Sorry for the late start here. Um, welcome to the Center City Residents um, Association Zoning Committee. CCRA is a 75 year old nonprofit, nonprofit civic association. Um, as a nonprofit, we encourage everyone to become a member, which can easily be done through our website. There are several benefits to being a member, one of which is being notified of all proposed zoning changes within our area. CCRA is the recognized registered community organization RCO for our area. Our boundaries are from South Street to JFK and Broad Street to the Schuylkill River. Our committee works as follows. First, applicants are to present, and we ask applicants to address the specific refusal or referral. Um, we ask for no interruptions and allow applicants to give their full presentation. After the presentation, the zoning committee has a chance to ask questions. And after the zoning committee's questions are completed, we're open, we will open the meeting to the community. When addressed, um, we ask that you state your name and address um, and keep your questions succinct and to the variance being discussed. Um, please don't repeat others' questions. If you agree with someone's position, you're welcome to um, raise hand and simply state that you agree. Um, if there's a spokesperson for the neighbors, we just ask that they speak for the full group. Um, after we hear from all the applicants and listen to the community comments, uh, the com our committee meets in closed session. We always vote in three ways. One, opposed, two, not opposed, and three, not opposed with provisos. CCRI never votes in favor of any application. Um, our decisions are emailed to the council person, ZBA, and the applicant. Uh, they're also posted on our website. No matter how we decide, it is important that if you are concerned with the project, please attend the ZBA hearing. That is the best way to make your con concerns known. Um, we cannot always express the neighbor's point of view. Only a property owner or a grieved individual can express their personal concerns to the ZBA. Um, tonight, we only have one case, and that is a referral. Um, and I would like to kick it off uh, to the presenting attorney to just kind of take it from here. Hey, Joe Consul, how's it going, everyone? <clears throat> With me is Florian. He is the owner of one Taco Delphia location and is uh, putting a second one at uh, 2051 Walnut Street on the first floor. I'll uh, share my screen. If I can be so bold. All right, so here's the current location. That's uh, the 400 block of South Broad Street. Is that correct, Florian? You got, you're muted. Sorry, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, so that, that's at Broad and Lombard. Yeah, and you've been operating that for, I mean, seems like forever. About seven years or so, yeah. A little okay. seven years. Yeah. And his goal is to open the same at this space at uh, 20th and Walnut. Yep. It'll be a ground floor space. Uh, I'll put the plans up in a second, but it would have seating for only 10 folks and you know, primarily would be doing folks that come in and get the food, eat and uh, take out business as well. The reason we're in front of you guys because we have a referral eating and drinking establishment takeout restaurant with all their uses is previously approved. <clears throat> so it's a special exception. And here we are. I uh, went through all of the uh, notes that were sent over regarding um, provisos and stuff that you guys are interested in with takeout restaurants and, and the like, and we can talk about that stuff, but it seems like he's in agreement with all that. He's got a five-year lease and uh, with an option to renew for another five years. And I believe the plan is to stay here for a while if it's successful. Uh, regarding the items that you guys had put on the um, standard conditions, would you talk about trash, Florian? Yeah, so the building, the building has, I believe, 30 units and two commercial units on the first floor. And they have a centralized trash location on the back of the property. So that's where everybody, they have two big dumpsters there. So that's where everybody takes the trash and that's where I'm gonna be 
taking the trash. Okay. And that's part of your, your lease agreement uh, in terms yeah. of it being collected and stuff. Okay. Right. Uh, they want no ampli amplified music outside, yeah. uh, no dancing or live music performed in the premises. Uh, you told me there's no problems with that. Uh, how about delivery times uh, at the restaurant? So delivery times, uh, the plan for this location is to bring all the supplies from the current location that I have. So it's not going to be any early deliveries. Uh, the store opens at 11 o'clock for service and we pr start preparing everything at 10 o'clock. So the deliveries are going to be around 9 30, 10 o'clock. Okay. There's the plans. I'll zoom in a little bit on the specific uh, floor plan. Bit. It's too close, not close enough. But you can see it's you know kind of got minimal seating in the front there. Uh, issues of ventilation. Is that something that you guys have considered with your plans? Is it required for, for what you do? Florian? Uh, yeah, well, so we have, we do very little grilling um uh, and and we use um we use a self-contained unit uh it's 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 a 48 inch uh, triple filter uh, hood and it just filters the air within so nothing coming out okay yeah so no exterior ventilation a lot of the takeout conditions sort of mimic the, those that we just went through i don't know if there's anything else we we could we could talk about terms of how he's going to run it and that sort of thing. Yes, yeah, so any questions, I'm very happy to, to help. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, that was quite thorough and I appreciate that you came prepared um, with the provisos already in mind. Um, I will um, ask that if anyone on the committee has any questions that they please raise their hand. So Joyce, uh, Doug, Ben, all right, Ben Z, would you like to go ahead and please um, ask yeah, I, question? I, I just want to be clear. <laughs> you said the, the building has 30 units, three of them are commercial on the first floor. Is this one of those three commercial units? That's two commercials on the first floor, yeah. One is a coffee shop and the other one would be me. Okay. Uh, the so, coffee shops in the in the back of that the other side, photo, yeah. mm -hmm. and so you have no connection with all the, any of the other units in there. Uh, no, no connection. You're, you're just a tenant. Okay. Right. Um. Great. Are there any other questions? Oh, Joyce, please go ahead. Um, currently, the plan does not show any outdoor seating. Would you ever be a point where you would consider outdoor seating? Definitely not. I'm, I'm, I'm actually against it on this spot, and I was against it on um, the current spot, especially. You don't want outdoor seating when there's a bus stop. Because you know what's going to happen? Everybody's going to sit at your tables and chairs to wait for the bus. So it's always a problem. And yeah, listen, with him... Uh, it's only going to add to my headaches, and I really do not mm -hmm. deal with that. So. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Great hey. question. Oh, Ben. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. Will there be takeout food? Yeah. So yes. it's, it's just takeout. It's, it's almost like a, a Chipotle style. So people would come in on the counter. They can either sit down and eat it. And it's very little sitting. Probably, I would say, maybe like 12, not even. Yeah, your capacity plans. Uh, yeah, so most of it is yeah, takeout. So uh, you're you're familiar with our uh, provisos for takeout restaurants about uh, labeling your your silverware and your plates and cups uh, and having a container outside for trash if people drop stuff as they're on their way out, et cetera. Um. A trash can outside. Uh, I mean, I can provide one. I'm I'm not very pro for it, but I can provide one. Um, all right. He ends. He, he, you know, most of the time he ends up. Uh, I mean, I have it at two other locations, and most of the time it's people that walk by that just throw stuff in there. Mm -hmm. it's not, yeah, you know, it's not the kind of thing where it's like a pizza on a plate, right? It's more like you take it and. No, we have. So I have my own personalized bags. I have three different personalized bags different sizes 
Okay. The, uh, no plastic bags. Um, you know, what you're trying to do away with all the plastics. That makes sense. Um, okay, Doug. Do you have any plans on changing the front window? Uh, no, they're Excellent. gonna stay. No, they're gonna stay the way they are. Okay, thank you. Yeah. The only the only thing is that it's gonna be two signs on the building: one on Twenty First uh, Street side and one on Walnut Street with with yeah. our logo. <laughs> but that's it. Uh, Veronica, please go ahead. Great. Well, thank you for this presentation. Just to return what Ben Zucker to Ben Zuck to what Ben Zuckerman was talking about for our that we have some standard provisos for takeout restaurants, including a, a trash can outside, and then also uh, um, silverware and napkins, uh, just things that are taken out being labeled. Uh, you know, the idea there that you know, where if there happens to be a lot of trash that's generated, I'm sure it wouldn't happen. That, that then we can trace and it can be clear where it's coming from. So just wanted to bring uh, those standard provisos back into our conversation and, and hear your thoughts on them. I mean, I, I would love to, I would love to have everything custom made. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you know, custom branded, but it's just no way in the world you can have the forks and the knives. Uh, the way that we serve it, the way that we serve at our current location now is that we, we provide it, we put it in the bag. So we, we put it in the bag for the customer. So we give them the container of the food, whatever they're, they're you know, getting to eat. Mm -hmm. And we provide one napkin and one uh, fork. No and Is your bag branded with your logo? W which one? I'm sorry? Your bag. Is, is yeah, your all the bags. Bag? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, all the bags are, are labeled. Yeah, correct. Uh, Great, thank you. Ben, did you have another question? Uh, yeah. Uh, how will your trash be uh, handled? Where will it be stored? When and how will it be picked up? So every time they're going to get, every time the in-store trash cans will get full, the way that I do it now, uh, I have the trash on the side of the current building. On this building, it's on the back of the building. So when well, once the trash can gets uh, full, I have an employee all the time that goes around Wipes the tables, checks on the trash, uh, you know, gets the bags and take 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 them directly on the back of the uh, big uh, trash cans. And that's part of the, as you said before, part of the general service that from the building, right? The actual yeah. trash. Mm -hmm. trash yeah, so, yeah. All right. With this one, you know, with this building, it's I got lucky because you know they provided. On the other one, I provided and I paid. Um, uh, what is it now? Um, Eight hundred dollars a month. So just, just so that I'm clear, yeah, uh, the trash that you generate from your uh, restaurant will be taken out into dumpsters out back that serve the entire building, and, yes. a, and a commercial hauler takes them away? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're located on Samson, I believe that's Samson Street, yeah. Um, so, yeah. And um how about deliveries? When and where, how? Uh food delivery, you mean? Yeah, whenever you're bringing supplies or food or anything. All right, so yeah, so um I, I, as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna bring all of the supplies because there I don't have like it's zero storage so every morning i'm going to bring everything from my uh, my current store and there's going to be around 9 30 10 o'clock right before the employees come in we open we prepare everything and then the store opens for service at 11. and and where does the car stop or park that's bringing all this stuff in it's on or the 21st it's on 21st street because it's going to be the side door we're going to bring everything from the side door Okay. It's, a, it's yeah. It's a side door on Twenty First Street, and then the, the main entrance. It's where everybody's going to come in. It's on Walnut Street side. So yeah, it's parking there. Okay. Uh, just a follow up question on that. Can you remind us what your hours are? I don't remember hearing that. Okay, so the hours are Sunday. We're closed. Um, so uh, Monday through Friday. 
uh, it's 11 to 10 saturday 12 to 10. thank you yes sunday will close so. Great. Right, well, I don't think we have any other questions from the committee. Um, are there any questions from the community? Anybody from the community has any questions, they can please raise their hand. Um, okay, well, thank you very much uh, for the very thorough presentation. And again, for familiarizing yourself with our provisos prior to the meeting, that was very helpful and made for a very thorough meeting. Um, we have a small um, committee showing today, obviously. Um, we are getting together whether or not we have a quorum to be able to vote tonight or if we need to um, defer this to vote later. But as I said at the beginning, we are recording this meeting so that we can share it with our other members um, and get a decision because your hearing is October, October. 2nd at 2 p.m. Yeah. Um, so we want to make sure that we are able to um, get you um, get you direction before that, which is next week. Um, sorry, Doug, I see your hand is raised. I'm sorry if that was raised earlier. No. Go ahead. It wasn't raised earlier. Uh, <clears throat> now, my question just completely flew out of my head. Mm -hmm. I'll come back to you. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Um, I was talking about the amount of people that are here and uh, the thorough presentation. Um, and that if we don't have any questions from the community, um, then I think that we can go ahead and start our closed closed meeting portion of the closed session portion of the meeting tonight. Um, and thank you so much. And we'll reach out to you um, if we need anything further. Yeah, thanks for your time, everyone. Have of course. Evening. Thank you. Thank have you very night. much. Thank you.